be a bantamweight clash. China! Muay Thai boy, Zhang Cheng Lu! They call him Muay Thai boy. The very best in one championship. Representing Cambodia! Kong Sambo! Little White Dragon! Cambodia's Kong Sambo, a good Khmer champion! Kung Khmer, the national striking art of Cambodia. Very similar to Muay Thai and Litway. 68 wins in the powerful Cambodian striking art. He's knocked out the lights on the biggest stage of all. Will Kong be king in Singapore? Nine centimeters shorter than his opponent, so he wants to either A, stay at kicking range, or close that distance and get inside the punches of Chen Long and start throwing those bombs to the body, break down the body, and work up the head. Now, he likes to go after the body. He has numerous wins by body shot. He likes to go after the liver, Michael. And you, he has close to 100 bouts. He has a huge experience advantage over Chen Long. So he needs to utilize that experience advantage and lean on it and really just try to work the body, work the head, break Chen Long down, go at his pace. And that's how he's gonna find success in one super series. A huge star in Cambodia. And search in call to greatness here in Singapore. A final prayers ringside here from Little White Dragon Kong Sambo out of Phnom Penh in Cambodia. Can he add yet another record knockout to his incredible career? 92 throw bouts compared to 59 for the Chinese Muay Thai world champion. Over the top ropes goes Kong Sambo. It's a one super series kick for three fight. Cambodia versus China, Kun Khmer versus Muay Thai. The Muay Thai world champion has the youth. He's also got the height. Here's Dom Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, and martial arts fans from all around the world, welcome to the most exciting global martial arts event one championship! We are live from Singapore and broadcast to over 1.7 billion potential viewers in more than 135 countries. This is one championship called to greatness! So get ready for a night of non-stop martial arts action! And now, ladies and gentlemen, this next match is three rounds of three minutes in a one Super Series Bantamweight Kickboxing Contest! Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he is a Top King Muay Thai World Champion, standing at 177 centimeters tall, holding a Muay Thai record and kickboxing record of 46 wins and 12 losses. Training out of Shung Li Fight Club, representing China, he is Muay Thai boy, Zhang Chung Long. And now, introducing his opponent out of the red corner, he is a Bakus Kun Khmer champion, standing at 168 centimeters tall, holding a Kun Khmer record of 68 wins and 18 losses. Training out of Kingdom Fight Gym, representing Cambodia. Give it up for Little White Dragon, Kong Sambo. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Atsushi Onani. 
Come on, come on. Keep pushing, okay? Keep pushing. No air ball. No quinching, okay? Check on. Come on. Final instruction from our referee, Atsushi Onari. It's a one okay, just, Super Series kickboxing just, match. Set for three just, by three minute I, round. I don't Cambodia need, versus China. I don't need, the Packers Kukumai champion, Kong Samba. The world Muay Thai champion, Zhang Chen Long. Sambo in the orange and black. Opens up with an outside thigh kick. They are in four ounce gloves. There can be no filling up process. Three by three minute rounds. It's all that aggression, all that action. Looking for the KO. Nice long reaching jab at a southpaw stance there for Zhang Chen Long. He will switch stance, the Muay Thai world champion. As we're seeing already, outside leg kick from Kong. Kungumai, back as champion, circles off to his left. Watch the leg kicks of Kong. He's really trying to dig deep into that thigh, trying to slow down the movement of Zhang. Zhang's not known as a fast athlete. He doesn't move around a lot. He kind of plants his feet, stands there tight, and throws bombs with the hands. So Zhang's trying to limit that movement even more by going after those legs. Good defense against the high right roundhouse kick there of Kong Sambo. Zhang Chenlong controlling center ring, inside thigh kick to the Cambodian. Sambo goes high. Cheng Long wants to press him against the ropes, does so. Does great left hand out of Southpaw's stance. The power hand of the Southpaw cracks the high left roundhouse kick. There goes Sambo in return. Sambo needs to keep drifting off to his left. Stay away from the power side of Zhang Chenlong. Zhang in that step, you want to make sure he's okay. Zhang Cheng Long edges forward, chip kick to the lead thigh. There's one to the midsection, belly button through the back. Checks the high kick of Kong Sambo. Sambo backs off and resets. Inside leg kick, high to that femoral profunda. Good high guard again there from Zhang Cheng Long. Wicked high kick and a nice counter from Kong Sambo. Both men striking, one for one at the moment. Neither one getting the upper hand, really. It's a close contest with under a minute to go in the opening round. Kong's just being a little bit more offensive, and also he's got a little more volume coming out of those kicks. Hasn't thrown much in the way of punches, so he is found his kicking range. Both men trade kicks. It was the World Muay Thai champion who drew the short straw. High right roundhouse there from Zhang Chen Long. Of a dance, a shuffle and centering from Kong Sambo winds up the right roundhouse kick, hoping to loop the shoot around the back of the neck. Left hand lead. Go. Nicely done from the southpaw from China, the Muay Thai world champion in the black trunks. Thought a front kick was scump coming there, had the right idea, Kong Sambo, to scoop it out of the way. One way to defend against a front kick. Final seconds of this opening round. Two-punch combination down the center from Cheng Long. Sambo dances off to his left, resets himself. Chance for a final punch. Stop. There it is from the Muay Thai World Champion. Great sportsmanship from two fine champs. Well, Sambo really was able to find that range, but it was Chen Long. Zhang Chen Long coming through with that straight left hand. He found it not once, but twice in that round. Well, some of the most significant shots of that round came from Zhang Chen Long coming straight down the pipe and landing that big left hand. And that's what we were talking about all week, Michael, is this match was gonna come down to the punches of Zhang Chen Long and the kicks of Kong Sambo. And that's what we expect to be more. Kong Sambo's gotta come out a little bit further, a little bit harder with the kicks, try to cut that range. Sambo is very comfortable just planting himself in the middle and throwing those shots right down the pipe. We know the kicking arsenal of Kong Samba, but he's been very proficient in knocking out opponents with body shots over the years. He knocked out in the third round Orono. That was back in December of last year. There was a great body punch knockout in the fourth round back in 2017 against Superboy. Let's see if he can affect some bigger shots. Shots to the solar plexus to the midsection of the world Muay Thai champion from China, Zhang Cheng Long. Second round of three, one Super Series kickboxing match in front of a sellout crowd here in Singapore. Southpaw starts again, the Muay Thai world champion, Zhang Chen Long. Oh, yeah. Right oh, yeah. kicks, Zhang goes downstairs. 
Hong Sambo goes upstairs. Good combination there from Zhang Chen Long. Defense against the high left roundhouse kick. Really builds that wall on the right side of the body, does Zhang Chen Long. Nice high check with the legs, forms the guard with the hand, catching on the shins, catching on the forearms as those roundhouse kicks rattle in. Not a lot of lateral movement come on both athletes. You can see uh, Kong Sambo slightly circling to his left, which is away from the power of Zhang Chen Long, but uh, Zhang Chen Long is only marching forward, trying to cut the corner and then throw those hands. Referee Onari gives Go! instructions there to a portion, I should say, to Kong Sambo, but he didn't understand it. Looked to his corner for some sort of translation. Forward coming now, Zhang Chen Long, the Muay Thai world champion. Clash of styles here, Muay Thai versus Kung Kamai. Thailand versus Cambodian, Thai style versus Go! Cambodian style. Thai style being affected Go! very well by the Chinese athlete, the world champion, Zhang Chen Long. Dominating center ring, good jab to combination there from the southpaw. Then just up in himself, and he tried to a ripping high kick. High kick from Kong Sambo. Needs to start to put together some combinations though, Sambo. Can't rely just on the single strikes. Dart is out of the way of a left cross there. And that's what he's been doing, Michael. He's been only throwing that one kick at a time. They've been very effective in the first round, but not so much in the second round. And I think that's due to the forward pressure of Zhong Chen Long. He's not able to set the same way that he was in the first round to deliver those shots. There's a lot more forward pressure coming out of Zhong Chen Long. Zhang Chen Long's had some great victories over in glory in the past against Masaya Kubo. He unanimous decision him back in October 2017. On the same night, defeated New Zealand's Quaint Taranaki, also by decision. Has a third round unanimous decision over Sin Meng Ni, Kaysom Rit. And also a decision over Adrian Maxson at Glory 54 back in June last year. Great to see him here in one Super Series, one of the best in the world, the world's champion, Zhang Chen Long of China. Yeah, I like this change in strategy of Zhang Chen Long. It's a lot more forward pressure. You can see Kong Sambo is not landing anything off the back foot. He's having a hard time planting that rear leg and firing off those kicks. He's thrown very few punches, and he hasn't really found an answer for the forward pressure of Zhang Chen Long. Power allowed to throw knees under these go. kickboxing rules only go. for a short amount of time. Yeah. Into the second round, we go to the towers. See, this is Zhang Chen Long pushing forward, finding that range. You can see uh, Kong Sambo's just waiting, and that's that left hand again that is putting a disruption into the rhythm of Kong Sambo. He's just been able to go right down the middle. He's Consistently inching forward, and Kong Sambo doesn't like it, and he's having a hard time setting and letting go of his punches. But that straight left hand has connected multiple times this match. Solo crowd inside the mighty Singapore Indoor Stadium for one championship call to greatness, and we are kicking off with a one Super Series kickboxing match between two martial arts champions. The Bacchus Kunkamai champion from Cambodia. Little White Dragon, Kong Sambo. The world's Muay Thai champion from China. Zhang Chen Long, third and final round. Great sportsmanship. The martial arts values of honor, integrity, and respect on display. The house for Gurley upstairs there from Kong Sambo. You figure he's going to lift the world right a little here. Start to string together some combinations. Put the leather down, put it to the face, put it to the body of the world champion, Zhang Chen Long. More active with the ah. kicks. I'd like to see more uh, weapons up the middle. Like I'd like to see uppercuts, knees coming straight in as Zhang Chen Long's coming forward right now. Boom, fire that knee, set that back foot, let things to go. Just throw, throw a little bit of uppercuts, lift that chin up to answer with some of those kicks. Looks like Chen go. Long has been able to figure out that those kicks of Kong Sambo. Four ounce gloves in a kickboxing match can do a whole lot of damage. Inside leg kick, then a roundhouse kick to the ribs from Kong Sambo. We're seeing the clinch and knees coming to play a lot more now from the Muay Thai world champion, Zhang Chen Long. And that's because of his forward pressure. He's going right into it, and he's not able to do it. Azushio Nari is, ref is warning him about the activity. If they are clinched, they need to throw the knees continually. No elbows are allowed under kickboxing rules. 
good roundhouse kick there from Kong Sambo, but he's on the back foot here once again. Sun Chung Long, the world Muay Thai champion, ties him up, pulls a little knee, and referee Oonari breaks them. Front kick turned into a cutting side kick almost there by Kong Sambo, the Cambodian Kukumai champion in the orange trunks. Advances to his corner out of the Kingdom Fight Gym in Sri, Cambodia. That's what Onari, referee Onari is warning in Kong Sambo. It's that holding, it's that clinching. Nice high knee. He got Stop. elevated on that one. Did Zhang Chen Long. The Onari really Go. keeping a close eye on Kong Sambo. Fake there downstairs, then a follow through left hand. Didn't connect for Zhang Chen Long. A couple of corking knees to the outside left thigh from Kong Sambo. Go. 45 seconds remains, third and final round. Good evasion encounter there for the world's Muay Thai champion Zhang Xin Long in the black trucks. Go! Cuts off the movement. Nicely done by Tai Up and Tango. Referee Bolsonaro breaks it. No chance to work the knees there for Kong Sambo. Roundhouse kicks from Zhang Xin Long. It seems that his confidence is oozing here. Taste my feet, says Zhang Chen Long. Beautiful work from the world's Muay Thai champion. Sets the left hand, fires it off in the corner. Clinch up now. Knee guard put on by the Cambodian Kun Kamai champion. And Onari breaks them. Final 10 seconds. It's been a good last stanza for Zhang Chen Long. Three judges ringside are scoring on a 10 point must system. With the winner of the round, Go. 10 points. The most dominant boxer, 9 points. Wherever you're watching, folks, in 138 countries, how do you score it? Do you have it for the Muay Thai world champion, Chen Long? Do you have it for the Kun Kamai champion, Little White Dragon, Kong Sambo? Here's the left hand. Wait for it, and it's right down the middle. Beautiful. Kong Sambo could not find an answer to that riddle, which is the left hand of Yong Chang Long. It just landed over and over again, and it was most likely the secret to his success in this one Super Series kickboxing bout. It's gone down to the judges here. Three of them at the ringside, scoring in a 10-point must system. Will the nod go to the world's Muay Thai champion right of screen? Will it go to the Kun Kamai champion left of screen? Here's Dom Lau to let us know. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. Judge number one scores this contest in favor of the blue corner. Judge number two scores this contest in favor of the red corner. And judge number three calls this contest in favor of your winner by split decision from the Oh, that one was a little closer than even I thought. Muay Thai boy, the Muay Thai world champion, Zhang Cheng Long, gets his first win in one Super Series. Folks, when we return, Masahiro Kudo and the awesome Pet Dam.